This is Smallsy Surgery. Let's go. But I've been like this. I've been like this. What's up, everyone? It's Megan Trainer. I am your mother. You listen to me. Because you know I'm all about the best. About the best. I made you. You're listening to Smallsy on Nova. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. My baby that was inside me when I was in Australia is out. Lovely. And he's eight months old now. And his name is Barry, Barry mm. Bruce. And he's perfect. And he's my little Australian baby. And I'm so happy. That's, and that, I have a song now. That is the coolest baby name, Barry Bruce. Because it's a go, it's, you know, um, and I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone said this to you, but I'm going to be the one to tell you. Either going to be the coolest kid ever or the daggiest kid ever. It goes one of two ways. When you have a name, Barry Bruce, it goes one of two ways. <laughs> Either the coolest kid ever, and everyone's like, Barry's the dude. Or it's, Barry. Like, or it's like, oh, oh, Barry. No, you can't sit next to us. You can't sit next to us. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just had to be the one to tell you. Okay, thanks for the warning. <laughs> No, what is is there is there is it named after is it a family name or is it a your dad's name or is um, it No, but my dad's name is Gary, so we always go Gary Whatever. And Barry. That's that's, cool. that's um, close enough. It was his name was gonna be Bruce Barry. Yeah. And, and I, I told um Kyle when we were on Australian Idol, I was yeah. like, his name's Bruce and we were calling my belly Bruce every day. But then something felt like when we were decorating his room, there was all bears everywhere. And I was like, it might be Barry Bruce. And and then I thought like Bruce would be cute because the shark in Finding Nemo is Australian. And yes. I was like, and then maybe he's Australian. So I was like, it'll be so cute. But is, it's Barry Bruce. Is, are there many Bruces? In, I feel like in Australia, we have a few Bruces. But it doesn't, I don't it's think I've ever seen an American weird. show with anyone called Bruce. Like that's such an un-American. My best friend's dad, um, his name is Bruce. Yeah, okay. And like that was, that was the only one I knew. Knew, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, congratulations on it. How is the mum of two going and treating you? Um, it's, I'm a bit sleepier, but it's great. And yeah. I can still do the pop star thing, which is lovely. Mm-hmm. And my kids are my number one fans. My uh, three-year-old sings my new song with T-Pain, Been Like This. He he sang it and I put it on TikTok and they loved it. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's really nice when they're fans. Do they have any? They wouldn't have any comprehension of what they know. Mum sings, but they're like, they well, know, it's just normal. They, they know when. Well, he goes, "Mama's on TV." Like yeah. when I'm doing a morning show or something, they're yeah. like, "Mama's on TV." And then they played um, when I was recently doing promo. They played Riley's clip of him singing, and we they videotaped him, and he was like, "Oh, it's on TV!" And he thought it was the coolest thing. So I think he, I don't know. I don't know if he knows what's going on, but he's like, yeah, I'm on TV and I was on TV. Are so. they, when, when did you, when did you start uh, exhibiting uh, your uh, talent? Was it early on in your life? Have you spied anything? Are you going to be like a, a mummager? Have, is that in your blood? Like oh, to be Chris Jenner? Mom, I mean, my, my boy Riley, he's, he can sing and like, I, but He's like a three-year-old singing, you know, like he sings the songs, but I noticed he has like good pitch, but I went on like the news and I was like, my son has perfect pitch. (laughs) And then there were articles like Megan's son has perfect. I was like, oh, I was, I just mean he's got good pitch. I don't know. And (laughs) my brother's like, you idiot. So I've already went around blabbing that he's a star, but. um, Great. Nothing, nothing but high expectations to live up to. This is great. This is this is good. Like, I was like, you want to be on TV? He's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Good. We can make that happen. Hey, congratulations good. on the new song. The video clip is just dropped as well. It's so much fun. You. you always deliver. And I and I and I and I, I I'm not sure if everyone probably says this to you, but like, you know, honestly, in all of your art, it's always a ten out of ten every time. That means the world to me because that's where I'm most insecure as my music videos. I was like, I never thought that I like, we're always pulling it together last second and being like, I don't know, throw this in, see if it works. And so this was the first time that I felt organized. I have a really strong team now. And and for you to say that means the world. Cause I'm like, we did, we worked really hard on this. I paid for that chandelier. I got up on it. I was no were you harnessed. Harn- were you harnessed in? You. Did they tie you in or was you, no. Didn't have time, honey. We didn't have time. I said, I don't care. Go. And they were like, we really should harness you. And I was like, who cares? And I was swinging. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't know if it was my safest moment, but I work out, so I was holding on for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, as I said, I loved it. I nailed, You nailed it. It's fantastic. Uh, do you want to give me the – give us the 411 on the track? I mean, I – you're, it, it, yeah, it does speak for itself, but I always would never want to take that opportunity away from you to tell me about the song. Good, good, thanks. Yes, um, I uh, when I saw Made You Look blow up, a lot of my comments were, oh, I thought you were tired, or like, you're still doing this, or stuff like that. Really? Um, what, who, who said like, that to, what people, the comment section, oh, or? Yeah, yeah, some of them were like, wow, I didn't know she was still doing music. I listened to her when she did all about that bass, you know? And yeah. I was like, oh, I've been this for 10 years. So this was like a, I've been like this and my wink because it's been 10 years since all about that bass. Yeah. It's like the anniversary. So I wanted to be like, she got that booty, that boom, boom. Um, it's still me. And T-Pain was having a moment like that online too, where everyone's like, did you know he could sing without autotune? And I was like, yes. Um, and he's so talented. So I wanted him to shine on this track and I'm his biggest fan. And so it's like a really beautiful moment for us, both of us to be like, we've been doing this. What are you talking about? Yeah, I do. Do you, I find it very strange? It's it's kind of like a compliment. I, I don't know. You in, unpack this. You interpret this how you want. When someone says, "Oh, I didn't know they were still doing it," it's like either uh, thanks for acknowledging that I'm back, or you think I'm back and I'm still talented. But also, fuck you. I've been doing this and I haven't gone away. And <laughs> where? I, what are you doing? What do you think? I just sit around and do nothing all the time? Yeah, it's like when they're like, oh, she's back. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I never went away. I mean, yeah, so it's it's cool. But do you, uh, I, I guess it's, you know, I mean, maybe it's one of those things as an artist. Yeah, you get, have these, these ups and downs, right? Like that's the, in essence, everybody's sort of career. You can't be, you know, firing at a hundred or, you know, being on everyone's, you know, top of their radar yeah. all the time. You have to have these moments where you know people want to want you, I if keep, that makes they sense. keep telling me all this good news about how many radio stations are playing been like this and they're like you haven't had something like this since no and i was like oh <laughs> yay <laughs> and they're like it's because of all those hard years of work and i was yeah. like is it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um now you're going on tour too right Yes, I am. Um, not in Australia yet. No, not but yet. But uh, is anything? Well, what do you? I mean, maybe you you don't have to tell me, but you can tell me. Um, what, you got you're taking I'm Chris Olsen to... along, I believe. Yeah, we have on the big big shows in the U.S. We got Natasha Bedingfield opening for us, like mm -hmm. in Madison Square Garden, in New York, and in L.A. and and Red Rocks, which is so exciting. And then um, we have on some shows we have Chris Olsen. We have Paul Russell, and then on every show, my older bro is gonna DJ. So okay. no matter what, it'll be a party going from the time yeah. you walk in, to the time you leave. <laughs> Are you like, how's the old, how's the how is the brother with the DJ? Is he like happy to call he you boss? Has his first, or he is... has his first lesson right now. Actually, he is taking lessons because he doesn't know how. <laughs> okay. Keep it in the family. I love that. That's fantastic. Get your tickets now. Yeah. And don't miss it. That's exactly it. Um, what's Chris Ol What's Chris Olsen doing? What is he going to do? That's also a fun one. That is a question that I've asked him. And he <laughs> sure. goes, you're going to have to go to the show to find out. Okay, great. No, hey, I just, I know, I know he, you two are friends, but I didn't want to imply. It's like, I, how is he opening for you? Is it stand up, com stand up comedy or something? I think it's going to be everything because when I um, when I start rehearsals, he's going to also start rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And um, I know as a fan of his, I know he can sing, he can act, he can do stand up. He's funny. I told him like because he does this thing that people love where he goes live for hours and he dresses up and then he takes his dice in vacuum and he pretends to be Taylor Swift. And I was like, you may pull out the Taylor Swift dice and act if you want. And he was like, really? I was like, yeah, the, they would love that. So <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do, but I, I think it's going to be great. Um, now, June 14, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to speak to you again before the record drops. So I do want to quickly get the 411. If you if you can tell me what you can tell me, um, what, what do you, what, yes. is it finished? Do you know or do you not know? My album? Yeah, yeah it's done. It's done. <laughs> it's, it has to be done early for vinyls. But uh, we were going to put it out June 14th for my hubby's birthday, but they moved it up earlier. Oh, they did. Surprise. So now it's June seventh. Please okay. tell everyone you know. Sorry, yes, I'm we just let me. I'm just make, let me make a note here, and I shall make a note to let everyone. You're June, fine. June. We, we just 
we just they just told us we're allowed to move it up even closer which is so exciting because i'm anxious to get it out and i was like that's so far away but we gained back a week and i'm so excited and i'm ready and now i gotta buy my husband an actual gift for his birthday yeah wow is he was he what was he want expensive things or how was it is it a, is it a monumental yeah. birthday is it a monument or just like a no it's like 32 whatever uh, you're lucky to get a card exactly for 32 it's like you're in denial mode. Exactly. i spent most of my 30s just like please don't celebrate my birthday um how many songs <laughs> yeah how many songs what have you what have, what's on there what do you what can you tell me yeah 16 songs that are um 15 of them are all upbeat and well one of a one and a half are slow the big ballad is called timeless and it's about how i wish that we were all timeless and i want to love like we're timeless and live like we're timeless and um, the rest of the songs are all upbeat, self-love anthems. What I do best. It's my thing. I love it. Uh, are the kids on any of it? Are you going to do a, like a... Um, like a, like a right, net- I do, but it's weird in a love song having your kid be like, <laughs> you know, but um, I want on tour somehow to incorporate it. I want like the opening visual or what you hear in the countdown. I want it to Riley to be there so I can like hear him. Yeah. Because he'll be a that point but i can hear him and get amped up um so that'd be cool nice well congratulations on the song congratulations on the music video um you nailed it as always i always i just you know i love the confidence of just being able to what do they call them like um like is it a leotard or whatever like a skin anytime that anyone can get in front of like in like something so skin tight like that i'm like preach to that i just don't have the confidence. She just had a baby. Yeah. yeah she yeah. just had a baby so she, i've been working out use you have and- <laughs> what are your what are your secrets? I take care of my body and I eat really well and I go to the gym and that's my secrets. Um, and uh, the the hardest part about that cat suit was the glass. It felt like shattered glass every yeah. time I moved. So yeah. that was a bummer, but it looked so good. Nice. Hey, congratulations on the song. Yeah. Be good. Love you. See you in Australia again soon. All right. I'll be back. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.